Hello everyone, hope you're all well. Uh, that silly smile on my face, by the way. Sometimes I look at my thumbnails and I'm not, I'm pulling some strange expression. I don't know what that is. I can see it myself right now. I've, I've got a strange mouth, so I don't know what. Yeah, sometimes I have a strange expression in the thumbnails, so <laughs> I hope. Yeah. Um, actually, that is related to what I want to talk about in this video, um, which is something a little bit different. Uh, I made an updated introduction video for the channel recently, so uh, the reason being simply is the other one was out of date. I don't think there was anything wrong with the other one, it was just made in 2014, so it was out of date. So, just for something a little bit different, I want to... I've been looking through my channel, uh, I've said uh, for some time I've been going to do this, um, and it's still a work in progress, there's a lot to do, but I was looking through some of the statistics, some of the interesting... Uh, analytics through my channel so I thought I'd just share them with subscribers and um, once again thank you all for watching so I want to learn from this and I want to sort of uh, maybe work a little bit with some of these statistics so without further ado this is this is what I've got um, I've been on YouTube since 2009 but I, this channel has been going since 2012 so this is an appropriate time to look at all of this stuff it's the 10th anniversary of my of this channel really um okay i've been looking at the sort of subjects that i cover a lot um and basically the number of videos that are related to them there's issues like um china the ccp russia ukraine um feminism syria trump uk politics um thailand and the les Majest laws there boxing videos islamism wokeism yeah, a lot of these are very contentious issues, and what I want to do is see, well, I've got a number of videos on the same subject, so are they repetitive? Is there some that I can edit, take away? So that's what I'm kind of working on these days. Um, I'm likely to take away ones where the sound quality is not as good. Um, now, I have a total, or I did have a total of 3,754 videos, not including this one. Um, I edited that down to 3,741, so, you know, there's a lot more to do. Um, that's a lot. That is a lot for one channel. Um, most people I find on YouTube who go viral, they have probably um, quite a few videos, but I, I think that is a lot of videos, 3,751, 41, even over 10 years. So I do want to reduce that. What I might do is make fewer videos, but make them a bit snappier. I don't know. That's something to look at. Um, so that, that figure is going to reduce a little bit. I don't want to say how much, but I, I would like it to reduce a bit. Now, out of that, I have a total number of views standing at 701,845. 701,845. So that's my lifetime views on all videos, which is pretty good. But it is over um, almost 4,000 videos, so 1,886 subscribers. This is possibly the most important statistic of all. For each, each of you, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the time you spend watching my videos. Even if you just watch them for a minute and then leave, I'm so grateful for it. Thank you. Um, you know, uh, when I get to 2,000 subscribers, I'll, like, I'll probably make a specific video on that. Um, I've had 249 views over the last two days, last 48 hours. Um, my most viewed video, this is an interesting one, was a video I made in July 2018, and it was uh, about human rights, which is a subject I feel strongly on, and the exact title of the video is Sondos Alcatan's Ugly Attitude Represents a Wider Problem. It has 32,748 views when I checked. That's basically referring to a Kuwaiti uh, influencer and the way she treated her Filipino maid, which was appalling. And I was angered by it at the time. I made a video about it. I had no idea that video would be my most viewed. I just felt it was something that had to be spoken about, and it did. And it got generally very positive responses from Filipinos, understandably. Um, my second most viewed video is on universal credit uh, within the British uh, welfare situation for my interviewers that is universal credit 
flaws and the 35 hour uh, week job search. Made that in July 2016. That's 22,336 views. And uh, the third one, fanatical thyroidists in Britain uh, should respect free speech or leave. June 2014, 14,608 views. That was in relation to the behaviour of some Thai nationals in this country who were threatening Thai Republicans. Um, the, uh, uh, that was kind of a personal thing for me in the sense that I kind of got involved in an ongoing case um, and I made a video related to it. It's, uh, yeah, it's something that was, again, I wouldn't say viral, but it got shared a lot. So uh, as a general principle, I'd love to have every video at those sort of numbers, but realistically, it's unlikely to happen. If I could even have every video over the thousand views mark, it would be nice. Um, and that's where my subscribers come in. You know, um, if you like my content, please do consider sharing. Um, I'm not going to, I don't want to be one of those people that's always badgering people to do it, but it would be great and it would help this channel to grow. Um, so if you like my content, if you think the content is relevant, if you think I touch on some interesting points, please do share and subscribe, of course. Top locations. This is interesting. Uh, the first two are not really surprising. 37.8% of my viewers of my views come from the UK. Well, I'm in the UK, so it's not really surprising. Second is the United States, 17.6%. Again, not very surprising. YouTube's an American company. American it's widely used these sort of websites so again not totally surprising third is Canada three uh, percent of my viewers fourth is Thailand also three percent that may be reflecting the videos I made related to Thai issues the Philippines 2.1 percent Ireland 1.7 percent Pakistan 1 percent Saudi Arabia 0.6 percent Australia 0.6 percent and India 0.5 percent so, to my British, American, Canadian, Thai, Filipino, Irish, Pakistani, Saudi, Australian and Indian viewers, thank you all very much. To all my other subscribers, thank you too. Um, whether that's going to change over time, I don't know. Sometimes it's obvious reasons. There could be a specific video I make that's related to a particular country and naturally it's likely to get more views from that country. Um, just a few more statistics. The average view duration, this is one I should take on board, 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Now, ideally, I would like to make my videos a bit snappier. I'm aware that some of my videos are longer. That's usually because I'm reading out a news report to provide the full context, or uh, I want to get into more details about how I feel about something. Um, the thing about that is, uh, I, I know that snappier videos probably would get more views, but I realistically cannot talk about the sort of subjects I talk about in a very snappy, quick way, simply because they do require more thought. Um, but I will try to reduce the number of very long videos I make. Probably for me, the ideal sort of length should be eight minutes, something like that. Uh, I'll try and reduce the number of videos that are like 20, 30 minutes because they are very long. Uh, the main viewer age group, 25 to 34. I'm not really surprised by that. I'm 36, so that sort of figures. Male-female ratio, this one's interesting. 80.1% of my viewers or subscribers, um, I, I think that must be subscribers, are male. 19.9% are female. So ladies, if you like my channel, please share. I'm not sure what that, why that ratio is the way it is. Whether it's my videos on feminism, I don't know. Whether they've polarized women. Um, I hope not, because not against women they're about the subject of um well they speak for themselves but i'm not sure that that is it because i've got 3741 videos and about 40 of them are about feminism so i don't think that will be the only reason it might be that women simply aren't interested in my content which is fortunate yeah i'm not looking for a 50 50 sort of setup but it would be nice if that was a little bit more balanced to my female subscribers um Please share, please share, or maybe indeed if you are if you're a woman and you subscribe, maybe um, make some suggestions what you think women might be more interested in. I can't guarantee that I'll necessarily follow up because I have to be, um, you know, in the knowledge or in the mood to talk about something. But I'll certainly take those ideas on board. 
Um, impressions, this one's interesting, 6,654,932. I, I didn't know what that meant, but basically it means every time your thumbnail appears. So that's why I'm kind of aware of how I look. Six and a half million people have viewed me. To put that in context, it's like the population of Chittagong in Bangladesh. Or um, what, else, what other city? I, I study, you know, urban demographics. What other cities around that mark? Uh, Harbin in China, the city proper. Harbin or Chittagong in Bangladesh. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's just a few bits of data. Um, I'm going to continue editing. Um, again, thank you all very, very much for your support, for your views. Please feel free to share these videos, to subscribe. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out on this channel because I, I might, as time goes on, if I get the technology, do some things with it. So thank you very much um, and I'll keep you updated.